Hey folks, today on Fire Truck Friday, we're gonna talk about the roles of fire engine service. And we're here in Bonnie Doon with good old Engine 9, AKA the gatekeepers. We're gonna do this and walk and talk, come on. So, Engine 9 is staffed with three people, round the clock, 24 hours a day, seven days a week. It can hold five, but it's staffed with three. Of course, you got your hoses. Your engines are like the quarterbacks of the fire line apparatus. They, they, they fight the fire, they run the calls, they do it all. So, let's, let's walk and talk. Of course you got the engineers compartment you got your nozzles you got your hose appliances you got some spare hose and some fill hose that's a cellar nozzle it's pretty cool and of course you got your high-rise kit so like if we have like fire in hotels apartments they have uh stand pipes on them we can hook to them and get to the fire instead of bringing 1200 1500 feet of uh fire hose you got your blitz nozzle that's basically like a portable uh ground monitor for throwing large volumes of water on a fire. Walk and talk. Of course, you got traffic cones. You see them at car wrecks because engine is the primary response unit for a car wreck. You got a CO2 extinguisher, ABC extinguisher. You got speedy dry, which uh, if there's a car accident, you see vehicle fluids like oil or antifreeze on the roadway. We put that out to get it up so you're not driving through them. Keep it on coming. Of course, up here, anytime we have our supply hose. That's, that's a LDH 5 inch large diameter hose. This is what we use to connect to the hydrant. Of course, right here, you got your inch rubber hose. We call this a booster line. This is for like vegetation fires, small little trash fires, you know, mopping up, even clearing a, clear, cleaning a roadway of like any type of debris or anything like that. And a truck, and a fire engine ain't complete without some ladders. You got a 14 foot roof ladder, you got an extension ladder, and you got your uh, pipe poles or like roof hooks. Anytime there's like, we have to pull ceiling inside a house, if there's fire in an attic, we use those to pull all of that sheet rock down. Keep it on coming, we'll keep on coming. Of course, right here, we got your tools. We got your TNT, which is like a multi-tool. It's a sledge, it's an ax. It's got a pipe right, a hook right here. Your, your pickaxe right there, and your flathead axe. And you got your smoke ejector fan, or is a PPV fan, positive pressure ventilation. So if there's like a lot of smoke in the house, we can push all that crud out. Keep on coming, keep on coming. Of course, you gotta have some saws for cutting holes in roofs. Anything you need a saw for, fire engine's always gonna have it. Even the truck company's got them too. And of course, like all apparatus in City of Fayetteville, they're equipped to run EMS calls. So you got your bag, you got your defibrillator, you got spare EMS supplies, hand sanitizer, give me a squirt. And of course, you got the back seat. That's where the engine, that's where the firefighters ride, company officer seat. And of course, you got, and we got hose on the front. They call this a trash line. Um, they use this a lot on car fires. Um, you can use it for anything you need. But um, in my days of being here, I've always seen them. Ooh, that was loud. I've seen them on car fires. But that's it for Fire Truck Friday. We'll see you next Friday.